some pretty strong words campaigning in Ohio yesterday. What did our former president have to say? He really, you know, went ahead. I hit the hit the ball running uh, on the campaign trail in Ohio, but then went into um, a comment calling, uh, saying that there would be a bloodbath in the country if he wasn't reelected in November. President Biden's campaign really seized on those comments, saying that he was calling for for violence. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. <clears throat> Things aren't always what they seem. Unreal. Here we go again. That clip that you just watched is currently being spread by the media, Democrats, and Joe Biden to claim that Trump is literally threatening violence if he doesn't win the election. Except they're lying and deceptively editing this clip to remove the context that Donald Trump is talking about the economy and car manufacturing. In fact, the use of bloodbath in regards to economic events is literally in the definition of bloodbath. I'm gonna show you the non-edited clip here in just a second, but let me quickly show you how all the state actors are deceptively spreading this big lie. If this all seems very familiar, it's because we've seen this tactic used before with many of the things Trump has said. They were most successful with the very fine people on both sides big lie. Editing footage of a press conference to remove Trump very clearly condemning white supremacists and Nazis, but acknowledging that there were normal people on both sides of the statue debate that weren't affiliated with Antifa, BLM, or the Nazis. Joe Biden, Democrats, and people in the media still trot out this debunked lie to this day. Don't get me wrong. Trump says a lot of wild stuff and doesn't mince words, but what they're doing here is clearly deceptive, manipulative, and goes to show that they will do anything to keep Trump from winning in 2024. It is just mind-blowing how blatantly they lie and get away with it. Joe Biden and Kamala put out an actual statement. Biden-Harris campaign statement on Trump promising bloodbath if he loses. Tonight, Donald Trump said there will be a, quote, bloodbath if he wasn't elected, and that if he lost, there would be no more elections elections that never uh, happened you know mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34 percent of the automobile manufacturing business in our country think of it went to mexico china now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in mexico and think they think that they're going to sell those cars into the united states we're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line, and you're not going to be able to sell those guys. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. You look pissed. Believe me, you got every right to be. Well, I haven't been in show business as long as you have, but I'm a quick learner. So I'm going to give the audience what I think they want. So they're just lying, knowing full well that the media will back them up on this and repeat the big lie until most of the country just thinks it's true, exactly like they did with the very fine people line. Literally the entire so-called mainstream media has been putting out these headlines. NBC News says Trump says there will be a bloodbath if he loses. CBS News says in Ohio rally, Trump says there will be a bloodbath if he loses. And of course, Rolling Stone saying the exact same thing. But it doesn't stop there, and you can see for yourself. CNN, CBS, and probably the rest of the others too falsely twist Trump's words here. But it was probably completely different when they themselves use the exact same language to describe economic events. I'm going to go right to CNN's Christina Leshy at the New York Stock Exchange. And Christina, how bad was the damage today? a bloodbath. We're down 800 points, a pretty dramatic slide, even in the final minutes of the closing bell. Oh, that was different. On X, formerly Twitter, all the mainstream media Democrat Party goons are spreading the exact same lie. Elon Musk even called out NBC as deceptive liars, but for some reason, we're still waiting on the community notes. See what I mean when I say that Trump could never be an authoritarian dictator because the institutions would never allow it. But notice how they can unite to uphold their dictator and how an authoritarian state actually works. Hopefully, this mass deception and a long line of deceptions will finally open people People's eyes before it's too late. If you know anybody that needs a nudge, send them this video, please. If you're still here, you might as well hit that like button and help spread this video to counter the lies. That's all I have for now, but make sure to keep checking back for more. Thanks for watching.